Hello everyone. Well, today we will be discussing something on the ectopic pregnancy. Many times patient gets confused about the ectopic pregnancy when we reveal the diagnosis to them. They are confused because we want to operate and there is no symptoms at all except some pain, back pain, abdomen and uh, uh, we have to uh, give them a lot of information to convince them this operation is necessary. Well, to understand ectopic pregnancy, particularly for the patient's perspective, not for the pro professional, but for the patient perspective, for the, uh, to understand the ectopic pregnancy, let us understand the normal concepts of, uh, or normal fertilization. Well, uh, after the intercourse or uh, after the deposition of the semen inside this vagina, then after within half an hour, the spawns in the semen gets activated within half an hour. Then it enters to the cervical canal and enters to the uterine cavity, just like tadpole or just moving their tails. Then they enter to the other side of the tubes, both the tubes are present. Then they reach us to the third part of the tube. Then uh, there are two ov ovaries are there by the sides of the uterus and uh, one ovum or egg is produced on the 14th day of the normal menstrual cycle of 28 day cycle. If it is, then on 14th day there occurs the release of the one ovum either from this ovary or this ovary. So that is 14 days on a 28 day cycle or 14 days prior to the next due date of the menstruation, this ovum is released, one egg is released. Then this egg will be picked up by this finger like uh, fimbria of the tube. Then that uh, egg is taken to this third part of the tube. And if, during that time, if within 24 to 48 hours of the egg release, if the swans are available, the swan penetrates into the egg, then there is fertilization occurs in this third part of the tube. And uh, first conception occurs in this third part of the tube. Then from this third part of the tube, within four days, this conceptus has to come to this uterine cavity. And during these four days of the journey, these are the most critical part of the journey in our life. Because there is no mechanical factor except the femoral beating, medial end. And uh, this uh, zygote uh, used to rotate itself like a stone falling from the mountain. Uh, uh, throughout this uh, uh, tube, then it reaches to the endometrial cavity and it buries in the endometrial cavity just like a stone uh, is thrown to the clay as it is buried. Uh, in that fashion, this concept is buried itself in the endometrial cavity and grows there. Then what is the story in the ectopic pregnancy? In the ectopic pregnancy, the conception occurs it's well and good, but during its travel in these four days, it remains somewhere in this uh, part of the tube, either due to the defect tube, there is kinking of the tube, there is uh, defective cilia inside the tube or damaged cilia inside the tube or some of the cilia doesn't beat uh, towards the medial end and uh, there is lack of some chemical factors, chemical drive so that the ovum cannot rotate itself uh, to come. So these are the few factors due to which uh, the ovum rests inside the tube and uh, as because this tube is very thin and narrow structures when this concept grows inside it then after maybe two to three weeks it ruptures there once it ruptures then there is bleeding occurs to the peritoneal cavity here a lot of bleeding occurs and the patient presents to us with a pain abdomen and variable presentation as per the uh, situations so coming to the clinical scenario there are three clinical scenarios that can happen First is that uh, we pick up sometimes when the uh, conception occurs here, but it is not ruptured. That is the unruptured ectopic pregnancy. Second, ruptured, there is bleeding, but arrested. That is chronic ectopic pregnancy. The third one is that it is ruptured and bleeding, and the patient present to us in an acute situation so with bleeding inside the abdomen, fainting attack. Uh, loss of blood, loss of consciousness, so these are the presentation that is called the acute ectopic pregnancy. So let us discuss so one by one in a very brief. The unruptured ectopic, how they do present? They have a missed period and when the test, the pregnancy test is done, the one clear mark is there that is the test dose. 
uh, that is the control and another faint marking in the urine pregnancy kit. Once the faint marking comes in the urine test, that uh, clinches uh, towards the act of maybe an ectopic pregnancy. That is the first thing. Second thing, vague pain abdomen, vague lower pain abdomen. If it is there, once you have conceived uh, with the kit positive, then there is vague pain, lower abdomen, there may be ectopic pregnancy. Third, when the patients come to us uh, in the first visit, we used to do the ultrasonography. In the ultrasonography, we find there is no gestational sac inside the uterine cavity, no, uh, and the ovaries are normal, and there is a gestational sac present between the uterus and the ovary, then that is picked up as an unruptured ectopic pregnancy. Well, if the uh, heartbeat are not there, embryo is not formed, the management is medical management. We can give methotrexate, intravascular, we can give mephipristone, we can give uh, intra inside the gestational cell, we can introduce the casein, potassium chloride, a lot of agents are there. Why that? Our intention is to kill the fetus or kill the conceptors, then and there, or, and arrest the growth so that it will be managed by the medical way. In that case, we will uh, measure the serum beta HCG which is produced by the placental tissue and that is the marker that is produced, that is uh, done uh, every 48 hours. So, multiple times serum beta HCG is done and the multiple times the ultrasonography is done, the patients are kept in very strict follow-up that is managed by the medical management. Only situations where the, it is unruptured, patient is stable and the conceptor's heartbeat has not uh, appeared. That is the situation we can, we can uh, do by the medical management. Otherwise, if there is a fetal heartbeat is, is there, there is a presence of the fluid inside the POD, then the management is the surgical management. And in chronic ectopic, there is no question of the medical management because already there is half, half liter or one liter of bleeding is there due to either due to the aversion of the conceptors through this tube or there is rupture and arrest is there and there is presence of the clot inside the cavity passive presence at the there is fainting attack somewhere the urine pregnancy test is very faint and uh, the there is definite pain abdomen vague pain lower pain abdomen is there difficulty during the uh, defecation urination all these things are there then there is chance of chronic ectopic Ultrasound is the gold standard to diagnose and once the diagnosis is done, the method of treatment is the surgical. And uh, the surgical is always the laparoscopic method, only two to three holes, small three, five mm holes are done. And by that we clean up the blots and if the tube is ruptured, then we sec sometimes we sacrifice this tube because that is a defective tube. And uh, there is no point of uh, keeping that tube because there is chance of a high chance of recurrence in further pregnancy. So we sacrifice, we, uh, we cut down this tube and the future pregnancy will occur through this, the other side tube. If it is a recurrent ectopic, suppose it has happened uh, last time and we have sacrificed already and only tube is there and there is ectopic pregnancy in this side, then we will re we'll repair that tube by cutting and uh, uh, salpingostomy and uh, we can repair the tube. Then the third situation is the acute ectopic in which the patient condition is very unstable. There is a lot of bleeding inside the peritoneal cavity, around 2 to 3 liters of the blood are there. Patient hemoglobin is very low. In that condition, we, we have to urgently have to go for the surgery as well as blood transfusion is necessary. We cannot wait that the patient should be stable and then we will go. There is no point of time. Immediately we should go for the operation. Well, the choice of operation is laparoscopy definitely if the patient is not stable and the general anesthesia cannot be given then we can go for the open method even. So there we can take out the blood then we can take out the tube, the rupture tube and as soon as possible the uh, operation is finished. So that is nut cell. In nut cell about the uh, ectopic pregnancy the presentation is variable and a high degree of suspicion should be there when the pregnancy kit is one test area is very faint. Second, there is pain abdomen after the pregnancy is positive and there is reeling of head and weakness is there and fainting attack is there with pain abdomen. Those are some of the suspicion that should be taken into account and immediately you should go for the consultation to the doctor 
ultrasonography is the gold standard that should be done if doctor is advising that the operation is to be done that has to be trusted and that method has to be adopted well for the surgery laparoscopy is the gold standard if it is not available don't waste time whatever the method is available get it done there should not be a mortality out of it only the negligence or only uh, the time uh, consumption is the only the reason otherwise there should not be a casualty or the mortality from that so awareness is the key point for all for the patient for the doctor and for the society thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this video thank you all